follow-up on the push in Delano to put rent control on the November ballot. What's next for supporters now that the measure has fallen short? Thanks for joining us. I'm Rochelle Murcia. And I'm Michael Patterson. Last month, several Delano residents worked with labor organizers to gather signatures to support a rent control measure. And today we learned that there were not enough signatures to move forward. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Pronian joins us now in studio after speaking with the mayor who said this is actually a good thing. Well, Michael and Rochelle, the massive rent hikes grew in the past few years because of the pandemic, raising rent by 40%. Delano Mayor Joe Alinda House says there's already a law for rent control, and if a new one gets passed, he believes it will be a waste of taxpayer money. I think it's great news that the ballot measure failed. I think, um, you know, passing a duplicitous law uh, like rent control when state rent control already exists um, and the cost of the taxpayers um, for implementing rent control is just, it's just not a good idea. After years of fighting to lower rent prices in Delano and working towards getting signatures to the Kern County Elections Office, turns out it wasn't enough. In May, several residents protested outside Delano City Hall in hopes to make a difference by going door to door, trying to get more people to sign. But Delano Mayor Joel Indahow believes that in order to get an initiative on the November ballot, at least 10% of the registered voters in Delano had to provide 1,740 signatures. Alinda House says 2,170 were submitted, but not all of them were valid. Based on those 2,170 signatures that were turned in, I believe the county was only able to verify about 60, um, not 68 percent, but I think they were only able to verify about 14 to 1,500 signatures. One Delano resident I spoke with on the phone said this is upsetting news after all the hard work they put into getting them signed. However, Mayor Linda Howe believes that passing this bad law isn't the way to go. You know, a lot of folks in the community were under the impression that if you pass rent control that you're going to lower the rents. That is simply not true. Those rents are, aren't going to go in the reverse. Um, it just prohibits or caps the rate of increase that landlords can can apply to, to rent. He also believes that most of the time there are workarounds that landlords and owners have to take in order to cover their costs, for example maintenance and renovations. He says the government shouldn't get involved in what they do. If you take away their ability to increase rent to very very minimal standards, um, you know, it's very possible that these land landlords can just hike hike the rent, the price of rent higher once a tenant vacates a particular property. We also tried reaching out to the elections office to see why some of these signatures were invalid, but we didn't hear back. Live in studio, Mary Pronian, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.